My name is Charlotte Philby and I am the author of Part of the Family, which is this month's Waterstones Thriller of the Month. I thought because so many of us are in lockdown and maybe have more time and inclination to sort through some of the many things that we have hanging around the house, um, that it might be a nice time to talk about some of the letters and photographs that I have collected or hoarded <laughs> over the years and how they have informed my novel. I've spoken quite a lot about the inspiration provided by my grandfather Kim Philby and his espionage activity um, but the truth is when I look back uh, through photographs and letters and the artefacts that I've collected over the years I realised that actually so much of the story and the way that I write and think generally has been informed by family history from across the generations and across either side of my family. After my dad died, I got a call from Camera Press, the photographic agency, saying they had loads of his old slides. Uh, I knew that he'd been a, photographic, a war photographer for a while and in Vietnam, he was embedded with the US troops, but I hadn't realised quite the scale of the pictures that he'd taken. Um, and when I went there and started to go through them, I found that there were also some amazing documents from other parts of his life, including when he used to go to the Soviet Union to visit his father who had defected there from the UK. Um, and sort of some of them were the key images that we saw, uh, that we would see in magazines and newspapers and books. Um, I felt part of me was slightly regretful that I hadn't asked more questions, but equally it was, it felt quite poignant to go through after his death and sort of experienced those moments for myself firsthand. In a way, Kim's father, Sinjin, had a much more interesting story than Kim himself did. Um, he was, uh, again, he went to Westminster, went to Cambridge. Um, he then went to Saudi Arabia and charted a large part of the desert there, the empty quarter, and became an advisor to Ibn Saud who gave him a slave girl, who in return uh, my great-grandfather freed and ended up having a family with, and he himself converted to Islam. He had a pet baboon, was known to shun human company, um, was quite a difficult character, um, and also had this sort of double life. He had two families, of which Kim Kim's family was one. Um, I have also acquired this manuscript, which was uh, his book, um, The Queen of Sheba. Um, it's obviously fascinating in terms of my own fa family history, but also as a writer, just seeing these sort of handwritten scrawls um, makes me shudder and also feel extremely grateful for the tools that we have today. <laughs> when I started going through the suitcases that I inherited of my grandmother's writing, I realised that I'd lifted huge sections of her experience and put them straight into part of the family without even realising consciously that I'd done so. So events in her childhood, uh, growing up as the daughter of immigrants in Soho, um, a decision that she made when she was sort of approaching 50 about potentially walking out on her children. There were these really pivotal events that I obviously subconsciously assimilated and then stuck right in my book. <laughs> as well as the photos, I also inherited all the letters that my uh, grandfather Kim Philby had written to my dad. Um, for years they corresponded. Um, and there's something so amazing about, you know, it's one thing sending someone an email, but receiving something like this the, you know just the texture of the letter and seeing all the old stamps and seeing people's handwriting and um, I just found it very moving. Um, there's one letter here that Kim wrote to me. Um, I don't know the date because he didn't put the year on the letter, just July 28 from his stature but it must have been between 1983 when I was born and 88 when he died. My darling Charlotte, thank you for your lovely postcard which you sent me from Cambridge. I wonder whether you yourself will be living there, round about the year 2000, studying hard or, more likely, raising hell. I say more likely raising hell, because what with your daddy, your grandpa and your great-grandpa, you have a tradition of misbehaviour to sustain. In return for your postcard, I am sending you one of a young Siberian tiger. He looks very sweet, but when he is full-grown, he'll be one of the biggest tigers in the world. 
not the sort of thing you would want to meet in Gorky Park on a dark night. I'm afraid that he'll probably end up in a zoo because they're getting fewer and fewer. Daddy will explain to you the destructiveness of man. I wonder whether you've found anywhere to play in the sun this summer. We've had a dismal time with occasional sunshine, but mostly grey skies and quite a lot of rain. In the southern mountainous parts of the country, it's been rather dreadful, with torrential rains causing big floods, avalanches and mudslides, not mentioning frightful hailstorms. Well, as you might say, c'est la vie. Well, you little imp, please give our love to mummy, daddy and keep lots for yourself. Don't postpone your visit too long. Lots of cuddles and kisses from Babushka and Grandpa. Um, I'm not crying, I just have an itchy eye. Uh, what I love about that letter is, um, well, there's lots that I love about it, um, but the mention of his, gran his father, uh, Sinjin, Kim and my dad, because there's this sort of line of male rebellion. There were similarities in all of them. They, they were all sort of eccentric and rebutted a lot about the English heritage that they, on the other hand, also retained. Um, but they also all left their families. Um, and it, part of what I wanted to explore in my book is looking at what happens when a woman walks out on her child. So not only what does it take to make a woman make that decision that so few women do, and once they have, how does that affect everything in their life and how their life is seen by everyone else? If Kim had been a woman who had left, you know, had betrayed his country and his men, it would have been seen, seen through the lens of him actually betraying his family. Um, so that was another theme that I wanted to explore in the book that probably, you know, came out of reading Kim's life in his own words rather than the books that I've read over the years. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope maybe this inspires you to dig into some of your own letters and photos um, and maybe even read my book.